A reading from the Acts of the Apostles After the discussion had gone on a long time, Peter stood up and addressed the apostles and the elders. My brothers, he said, you know perfectly well that in the early days God made his choice among you. The pagans were to learn the good news from me and so become believers. In fact, God, who can read everyone's heart, showed his approval of them by giving the Holy Spirit to them just as he had to us. God made no distinction between them and us, since he purified their hearts by faith. It would only provoke God's anger now, surely, if you imposed on the disciples the very burden that neither we nor our ancestors were strong enough to support. Remember, we believe that we are saved in the same way as they are, through the grace of the Lord Jesus. This silenced the entire assembly, and they listened to Barnabas and Paul describing the signs and wonders God had worked through them among the pagans. When they had finished, it was James who spoke. My brothers, he said, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first arranged to enlist a people for his name out of the pagans. This is entirely in harmony with the words of the prophets, since the scriptures say, After that I shall return and rebuild the fallen house of David. I shall rebuild it from its ruins and restore it. Then the rest of mankind... All the pagans who are consecrated to my name will look for the Lord, says the Lord who made 